You ever wonder what it's like if you could time travel and see the future of your favorite athletes? Well, I got you. Aaron Donald, this is your life. Unfortunately for Donald and the Rams, their 2021 playoff run will be cut short in the second round. In 2022, however, Aaron Donald will come one sack shy of the sack record following the league's expansion to 17 games per season. In 2024, after three straight disappointing seasons for the Rams, Aaron Donald would actually hang up the cleats and shock the world when he retires at the age of 33. The surprises didn't stop there. April 1st, 2026, Aaron Donald officially inks a deal to become a WWE superstar. After a year of training, he would make his debut and form a tag team with Brock Lesnar. This tag team would go undefeated for five years until finally being beaten at SummerSlam 2032. In 2035, Aaron Donald will retire from the WWE and open a training facility just for defensive tackles. Throughout the rest of his life, Aaron would dedicate himself to training defensive tackles, changing the position forever. You ever wonder if you could time travel what the future looks like for your favorite athletes? Well, I got you. Patrick Mahomes, this is your life. In February of 2021, Patrick Mahomes captures his second straight Super Bowl win. June 1st, 2024, third time's a charm for Pat as he has his third child but his firstborn son, Patrick Mahomes III. Mahomes would go on to win five Super Bowls and have the greatest career in quarterback history. In the year 2036, Mahomes would shock the world when he would retire in his Super Bowl winning press conference. Flash forward to 2048, Patrick Mahomes' son, Pat Mahomes III, is drafted to the London Jaguars. Following his son's entrance into the league, Pat Sr. would get the itch to start commentating on Monday Night Football. Mahomes Sr.'s voice would become one of the most iconic commentator voices of all time. Mahomes would call some of the most iconic moments in sports history, including his own son's Super Bowl in 2057. Who's next? You ever wonder if you could time travel and save an athlete's career and see how it rewrites sports history? Well, I got you. Calvin Johnson, this is what your life should have been. It's the 2007 NFL Draft. The Detroit Lions are on the clock, but wait! There has been a trade! The Lions are trading the second overall pick to the Arizona Cardinals for Anquan Bolden and a first round pick. And with the second overall pick, the Cardinals select Calvin Johnson out of Georgia Tech. Calvin Johnson never loses his love for the game in Detroit, and the Cardinals form a trio like we've never seen before. In 2009, the trade would pay off, when the Cardinals would defeat the Steelers in the Super Bowl, and Kurt Warner would retire a champion. For the following 10 years, however, the Cardinals would struggle to find a real franchise quarterback, and Megatron would struggle with injuries, until 2019 when the Cardinals would take Kyler Murray first overall. Murray and Megatron would be 14-1, and, and be Super Bowl favorites once again. You ever wonder if you could time travel and correct a bad moment in an athlete's career and see how it changes sports history? Well, I got you. Derrick Rose, this is what should have been your life. April 28th, 2012, Game 1 versus the 76ers. The Bulls elect to sit Rose on the bench up 12 with a minute and 20 seconds left. Rose never tears his ACL. The 2012 Bulls would advance to the NBA Finals, but would lose to the Oklahoma City Thunder in seven games. In 2014, however, Derrick Rose would win his second NBA MVP and go on to win the NBA Finals. July 4th, 2016, Kevin Durant decides to join the Bulls, forming a big three between Rose, Durant, and Jimmy Butler. The Bulls trio would win back-to-back -back championships in 17 and 18. However, in the 2018 offseason, Rose and Durant would sign huge extensions with the Bulls, forcing Butler to be dealt to the Heat. The Bulls will be 2021 Finals favorites. You ever wonder if you could time travel what the future looks like for our favorite athletes? Well, I got you. Justin Jefferson, this is your life. Jefferson's personality would stand out during the 2021 Virtual Pro Bowl, leading to fans of all teams becoming fans of Justin Jefferson. In 2024, Jefferson would have a year like no other. He would have over 1,900 yards receiving and 17 touchdowns, and become the first wide receiver ever to win NFL MVP. The Vikings would go to the Super Bowl in 2029, but lose to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Over Jefferson's time as a Viking, he and Vikings quarterback Spencer Rattler would come only 15 touchdowns shy of the QB to wide receiver touchdown all-time NFL record. After leaving the Vikings in 2034 for the Kansas City Chiefs, Jefferson would be a key component in the Chiefs 2036 Super Bowl championship, which was also Mahomes' final game. After retiring in 2037, Jefferson will be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame by now Commissioner Randy Moss. 
Have you ever wondered if you could time travel what the future looks like for our favorite athletes? Well, I got you. Russell Wilson, this is your life. In the upcoming 2021 playoffs, Russell and the Seahawks would unfortunately be eliminated in the second round. However, 2025 would be a huge year for Russell Wilson. He would win his first and only NFL MVP, lead the Seahawks back to the promised land, and star in the Disney hit The Game Plan 2. In 2029, Russell Wilson would retire from the game of football after losing in the Super Bowl to the Kansas City Chiefs. July 8, 2031, Russell Wilson takes his talents to Hollywood by signing a huge multi-movie deal with Disney. And in 2037, the Disney hit football movie On and Off the Field, a movie about Russell Wilson's family, will become a Disney classic. In 2042, Wilson's son, Wynn Harrison Wilson, would make his Major League Baseball debut for the California Angels. Like his name, he would do nothing but win, winning five World Series. Next! You ever wonder what it would be like if we could time travel and see the future of our favorite athletes? Well, I got you. DK Metcalf, this is your life. Tyler Lockett would be traded in the year 2023, leading to DK Metcalf breaking the all-time touchdown receiving record with 25 touchdowns. In the year 2025, DK would have another monstrous year. He would become famous for coming 14 yards, his number, short of the all-time receiving yards in a single season mark. And the Hawks would capture the Super Bowl. Following Wilson's retirement in the year 2029, the Seahawks would enter rebuild mode, trading DK Metcalf to the Los Angeles Chargers. This move would lead to Herbert winning the MVP award the following year, thanks to DK. After dealing with injuries, DK would retire from football in 2035 and would move on to fight in the UFC. He would become UFC heavyweight champion in three short years. After having Hall of Fame careers in two sports, DK would open up the Pete Carroll Memorial Gym and live out the rest of his life. You ever wonder what it's like if you could time travel and see the future of our favorite athletes? Well, I got you. Jalen Hurts, this is your life. In the 2021 offseason, Jalen would be named the long-term starter of the Philadelphia Eagles, and Carson Wentz would be dealt to the Indianapolis Colts. And in 2024, league MVP Jalen Hurts would lead the Eagles to the Super Bowl, only to lose to Carson Wentz's Indianapolis Colts. After five disappointing seasons following the Super Bowl loss, Jalen will find himself a free agent. He would be signed to a huge deal with the first expansion team in three decades, the San Diego Sharks. In 2035, Jalen Hurts would retire as a football player from the San Diego Sharks. The following year, Hurts would actually be signed as the QB coach of the Crimson Tide at Alabama. In 2046, Jalen would be named the head coach of the Crimson Tide following the passing of Nick Saban. Jalen would lead Alabama to eight national championships and coach until his own death in 2086. You ever wonder what it would be like if you could time travel and see the future of our favorite athletes? Well, I got you. Luka Doncic, this is your life. In 2021, Luka would have a phenomenal year, finishing second in MVP voting to Nikola Jokic. After his big year, Luka would actually be picked up by Allstate as a sponsor, where he'd film some of the greatest commercials in NBA history. In 2023, Luka would win NBA MVP and lead Dallas to the NBA Finals but would fall in seven games to the Brooklyn Nets. In 2025, the Dallas Mavericks would do the unthinkable and acquire Jokic via trade. Now set with his stars, Mark Cuban would sign Luka to a 10-year record-breaking deal. The duo would three-peat from 2029 to 2032. In 2037, Luka would retire a Dallas Maverick, becoming the first to remain on one team for an entire career since Dirk Nowitzki. In 2042, the same year he'd be inducted into the Hall of Fame, he will be hired as the coach of the Mavericks. Follow for part two. You ever wonder what it would be like if you could time travel and see the future of our favorite athletes? Well, I got you. Luka Doncic, this is your life. Part two. If you have not seen part one's post from last night, go check it out on the page real quick before you see this one. We left off in the year 2042, where just five years after his Hall of Fame career ended, he had been hired as the head coach of the Dallas Mavericks. And under Luka's new leadership role, the Dallas Mavericks would go on to win six NBA titles over Luka's 21-year coaching career. In the year 2062, Luka Doncic would retire as a Maverick for the second time, but this time after a legendary coaching career. In the year 2067, Luka would find a second spot in the Hall of Fame as a coach. After his induction, Luka would fade out of the spotlight and live out the rest of his life. Be sure to drop a follow and then drop a request of the next athlete we'll be covering. I gave you fair warning, beware, beware. Smack him in the mouth, mouth. I gave you fair warning.
gave you fair warning. Beware, beware. Smack him in the mouth. I gave you fair warning. Beware, beware. Smack him in the mouth. I gave you fair warning. Beware.